Okay, let me load up that uh, list all the books, still right here. And here we have it right here. And I don't know why this is the price. Okay. Well, let's go back to our uh, let's fa let's fix that first. Let's go back to our book. So this is a double. We need to convert that to a string. And uh, I don't know why I use this this method over here. String dot value of is what I'm looking for. Ah, I am so sorry. I wasn't even paying attention. I said two hex string. It's supposed to be. Well, just, let's just use this because it, it is a primitive. It wasn't a double. I, I thought I used a double wrapper. Uh, anyways, it's value off that we're looking for. And we're going to take in a double. Let's convert that to a string. And just the price. Now, if we're in a replication again, it shouldn't be a hexadecimal anymore. There we go, and uh, there we have it. And, uh, these aren't these columns aren't sort sortable yet. I don't I, I don't think they are. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, let me actually try adding adding a new book. It's not updating yet. So what we need to do is whenever we uh, add a book to the library, we need to refresh whatever is inside here. So that's pretty simple, right? Now, what I'm about to do is not the best way to do it. It's not the most efficient way, but because, I mean, it's not the most efficient. It's the most naive way of doing this. Because really, when we're adding a uh, when we're adding a book, we really only need to add one row in here, right? But then I'd have to create another method that would uh, that would take in whatever's in here, convert that to an array of uh, the proper format and then add it here which I'm kinda lazy to do it so I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this I'm just gonna remove all everything all the data in that table and then reload it so we're actually gonna make this into a method put this as a method so what we're gonna do is say uh, reload data book right have eclipse create the method for us and just x this out I mean I uh, just cut it out paste it in this new method that we created now that we have this method we're gonna call this method whenever we click on the uh, add add book where is it um, get add book button in here so add vim files in vim cache so in here we're just gonna reload after this we're just gonna reload because we've added a book so we're gonna reload our uh, forgot the name already <coughs> I forgot the name already geez reload data book and now let's actually check this out let's load it up Add a book, oh, one, 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 one. Let's add a book, two, 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 two. Add book, list all the books, all right, cool, cool. Browse the library, and there it is. But as you can see, it just appends it 
But we don't want that. All right, let's fix that uh, that thing where we uh, where we add a book. It just appends it, but it doesn't uh, refresh everything. So let's go back to our reload data book. This method that we created here, and what we're gonna do is just again we're gonna get the table and get the model of our table. And since the model, and I'm sorry I didn't explain it before, but we're casting. We're casting this to a my table model because this returns a what? This returns a table model. Remember, we're not using a table model. We're using a my table model, which extends a table model. That's why we can cast it, and that's why we need to cast it to a my table model. For for everything, for all the rows in the table model, we're gonna remove all of them. All right, and then yeah, for until so how am I supposed to say this? While while uh, while there is still uh, while yeah, <laughs> fine. While the row is greater than zero, meaning there's at least one more row inside our table. We're just going to remove that row. That's all we're doing. Removing all the rows in our book table. And then if we're in our application now, so if we start a new library, uh, it's empty right now. Remember, we still reload the data. No, never mind. It's empty right now. That's right. Okay. And if we add a book, here now if we add another book it's here now it's also of course since we set the uh, auto create row sort row sorter it sorts the row for rows for us so there you go sortable rows um, now Whenever you're sorting the rows, I'm not sure if you're actually sorting the actual data of the table model, or you're actually sorting just sorting whatever you're seeing in this table. And uh, you know, I'm kind of curious: Are we actually sorting the actual data, the actual model data, or we're just sorting whatever's inside the table? So uh, let's go to our browse library panel and read the documentation. Auto create row sorter. What does it say? Okay. All right. So it says it actually sorts the actual model data, which. Hmm. I guess it actually sorts the actual data. I think. I mean, that's what it says. Anyways, it really doesn't matter because the way we're gonna extract. The uh, the way we're going to extract the uh, the information out of our tables, whenever we're trying to open or delete our uh, a book or a file, is is very uh, it's very simple. It's not we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to worry about what's what we see inside the table, not the actual data. Anyways, we'll get there when we get there. But for now, this works. Another way of doing it is just just using this. 